Love here with Creative Life. Welcome to my crafty channel, y'all. I hope that you guys are having a great day. And today, y'all, I am making something super fun. And um, although I'm done with it, I had a bit of a struggle. <laughs> but um, today I am making this cute little hats off box and album. Now the album, I don't know if I'm going to make, but I did make this little hat here and it's super cute. You guys, I did, um, follow some of the instructions and then some of the instructions, I just kind of did it like on my own. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the, this is a paper phenomenon a video or not video a tutorial and um, I got this when uh, Kathy had a sale over at her store so um, it's super cute y'all I really think it turned out really cute now I followed the small hat version of this I didn't make the tall hat so mine may differ from some of um, the you know of how it's made so I did do the base of the brim just like um, she has in her tutorial okay in the written tutorial um, and then I went ahead and did um, the small version so the small version is like two inch on the brim here on this this part right here okay and then you have a little box for your um, album to sit in. Now the album is probably about three inches, I think, by five maybe or something like that. I think. Let's see here. I can't remember. Yeah, so I'm going to make mine three by five. Okay. And I, I didn't read the instructions on the album, so it, it may be that size. I, I don't know. <laughs> but and um but yeah so it came together really cute and I really like it. Now the hat you end up putting another box or something I think inside the hat. I don't know. Um but I I just went ahead and made my hat a little larger. Um so this part right here is actually um about five and a quarter inches okay so my hat is I think it may be a little bit taller or I don't know maybe a little shorter and then I marked my hat the front F for front and B for back so I knew which which side was which when I put it together now um, this I cut out again now you get all the templates and everything for this um, the construction of this hat which is really super nice and um, so I just went ahead and did it like this. Now I did not, I think, I don't know if you put another box inside of here and I couldn't, I, I don't really know. I don't remember <laughs> the instructions, but, um, but I just went ahead and did the cutout again like I did here on the base part of this. And then um, I think I needed to cut a, a little bit larger so, so it would fit over it. So when I put my album inside, it's going to fit and then my book will fit in that because um, I have a five and a quarter inch here so it's gonna be about it may it may be five inches I may do a smaller album I don't know but I think that's gonna be so cute you guys and to decorate this super cute little hat y'all I am using the beautiful the beauty of Christmas by Kim Murray salty beach scrapier designs so I am so cute. This paper is so beautiful, y'all. And I'm not sure if y'all have seen it. Now, Kim does have a video out. I think she shares that. And I think I did one too. But um, if I didn't, I'm going to go ahead and share with you real quick some of the pages that I have not cut yet. And um, they are super cute, y'all. And I think I drew on one of them. Let's see here. So here is one of the papers, okay? And then there's the back. Now I'm using the polka dot paper around the bottom part of my hat. So around this base part. And then for the top part, I think I'm going to use um, this. These are so pretty, right? So I'm going to use that. And then there's the back okay, of that. All right. And then you have a Christmas tree. So beautiful. And this gold is just so um, it's just luxurious. It's, it's so pretty. It's, it's actually, it's so gorgeous. And then you have 
I drew on this one, but then I decided I didn't want that one. I wanted to use a different one. So I'm going to use a different one for that. <laughs> and then there's this one. So pretty, y'all. And then you get the little letters on the back for Christmas. So pretty. I love the peppermint sticks and the roses. The pink roses are so pretty on that. And then here you get, a, there's the Christmas tree. I think I showed you all that one, right? And then on the back, you just get the um, the pattern paper on back. This one has uh, this wreath right here, and then it has the little lanterns. So pretty. And then on the back, you get the wreath. And I think I'm gonna use this one on top of the hat. So I'm not, I think that's what I'm gonna do there. And then here you get the Christmas tree again, um, a different Christmas tree, because this one's a little larger than the one on here. So it's so pretty. And then um, you get candles, and then you get the um, poinsettias right there with a little bit of uh, the gold flakes in between it. So pretty. And then you get your cut apart cards. So there's those. Then on this one here, you get a nice variety of cut aparts. So you get some images there that you can just cut out or do, I think you can put them in your scan and cut and it'll cut that out for you. So that is what I'm making y'all. So the next part of this video will be me sharing the finished product of my hat. Now, I don't know if I'll have the album all put together, um, but I will have the hat ready for you. I'm also going to be using some of the wonderful goodies that she sent me in my package. So, um, yeah, so uh, she does not sell the goodies in her store, okay, but um, she, uh, you know, she gave uh, the design team members or the guest designers all um, something to decorate their beautiful creations with <laughs> so anyway <laughs> thanks for joining me i'll be right back sharing with you the finished project <laughs> hey guys it's deb here with creative life thanks for joining me today on my crafty channel y'all today i am going to be sharing with you my project that i created with the beauty of christmas paper collection by Salty Beach Scrapper, also known as Kimmy Murray. So y'all, this paper collection is so pretty. I love all of the different type of graphics that are on this paper. I love the music sheet paper. Um, I love the little uh, vintage watch that she has on here. Um, it is so beautiful. And so let me go ahead and share with you what I used to create this hat. Okay, y'all, so to create this hat, not only did I use the Beauty of Christmas paper collection, I also used um, Paper Phenomenon's Little Hats Off Box and Album by Janice Freeman. Now, this is just the paper tutorial. I, I did not, I don't think I purchased the video for this uh, tutorial. So I went ahead and just did the paper one and I read everything, <laughs> got confused at some times, but uh, we made it through. So, <laughs> But um, yeah, so it turned out so stinking cute, you guys. I really love it how it turned out. And especially with this beautiful paper, I think it turned out so, so pretty. And I used everything that I used and was in my stash except for uh this um snowflake trim the snowflake trim and oh and the red velvet trim i purchased from amazon okay the bling actually came from jns hobbies and crafts okay and then uh these little leaves are prima and those were in my stash and then um, the poinsettias are actually white. And I inked those up with Distress, Distress Oxide ink. It's the Kitsch Flamingo ink. And I, I'm trying not to wiggle so much so you guys don't get dizzy. Okay, since I'm holding the camera. And this is the Distress Oxide ink that I used. All right. And so I just inked those the middle parts of that. Now the flowers already had the silver... Uh, glitter already on them so all I had to do was just ink it up and then it was ready to go <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and swing around over here because I want to share with you the top portion of it 
And then that little blue spray, or this little spray right here, that little, with the little berries on it, that is actually from um, Elizabeth over at BD Bonbon. Bon. She gave that to me and uh, in a swap that we did together, so I just love it. And that's my last one, so I'm so sad. I need to purchase some more, I guess. <laughs> So, um, right here I used some of the really super cute little uh, snowflakes that um, came uh, from Kimmy Murray. And then I went ahead and just used some tool to um, make a, the little, you know, hat fluffy in the back. And then use some of the um, pretty uh, lace that she uh, gave to me as well. Okay. And so there we go. Now you do have to piece some of the papers together when you're covering this. And um, right here I kind of pieced it a little bit. I was trying to get it to match a little bit. The, the side did really good. I think this side did really well. Um, so yeah, so but uh, I really like how this turned out so pretty. And I absolutely love the, like I said, the graphics, the, the bird on here, uh, the candy cane, the pine cones, the little cookies sugar cookies are so cute and I like the fact that it's a little bit grown up and we have like a little cocktail right here so <laughs> uh, so I really like that now it does come off so I did paper the bottom part of this okay and then you can place uh, a mini album inside or I even thought you could place some chocolates you know and then it would just you know the top would come off and you can grab some chocolates like a secret compartment <laughs> so you can have you know hide your little uh, chocolates in there <laughs> if you wanted some so I thought that was kind of cute but I am going to be doing a separate tutorial or a video share of the little mini album that's going to go inside of here. Okay, and I am going to go ahead and use the rest of the paper uh, from the Beauty of Christmas collection. So um, let me go ahead and share with you real quick. I just love these little envelopes on the paper. And um, then you have the paper that has the wreaths on it. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is so pretty. And then that just pops back on, just like that, okay? So easy. So I love it. I hope you guys like it too. And I hope that you go ahead and check out the paper. Um, I will leave a link to the paper uh, share over at um, Salty Beach Scrapper. I'll leave her link down below. And I will leave the link to the Etsy store down below for you guys. So I'll be back soon with the tutorial for the mini album. Okay, take care. Thanks for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey y'all, thanks so much for joining me today. Down in the left hand corner, I have another fun crafty video for you. And please subscribe and click that bell for future notifications on upcoming videos and hops. Take care, talk to you soon.